Rainy season has just started here in Japan. So that means I want to make sure that I don't get any leaking problems on my NC, MX-5 or Miata. So there are a few common areas where you're going to get leaks on an NC MX-5. The first one is going to be here behind the seats and that's because the roof drain holes are just behind the seats over here. So on my car, which is a hard top, that's going to be just under the hard top cover. On a soft top, you're going to find it in the exact same location, but there is a difference and we're going to look at that in just a moment. So the other place you're going to find leaks is right under this plastic trim piece. When you pull this off, there are going to be a few bolts over here and there's a plastic piece that fastens to like the body panel underneath this where the bolt actually screws into. And there's a rubber gasket around that plastic piece which can degrade and once it degrades, it's going to allow water through. There are two ways you can fix it. You can either go to your local Mazda dealership and get a brand new OEM rubber grommet to go around that plastic piece or you can just get rid of the rubber grommet altogether and just use a bit of silicon sealant or gasket maker and that's going to be like a, a permanent fix. There's actually another YouTuber who's made a step-by-step -step video on how to do that and I'm going to link that in the description below. opened the hardtop cover into the fully open position, but the hardtop is still on. So now we can get in here and we can access the little drain holes down in there. And I'm going to show you a little mod that I've done, which I think Mazda should have done from the factory. But down there, you're going to see this uh, white square. That's not original Mazda stuff. I actually put that in there. On the soft top NC Miata, those drain holes behind the seats there are just little holes and you can actually get a trombone brush in there pretty easily but it's with the hard top that they have those plastic grills in there this doesn't actually pull out if you do manage to pull it out and it is intact you're going to be one of the lucky ones where you manage to basically break those plastic welds and you manage to break them in a really clean way so that it just kind of lifts out and you can snap it back in place because this little plastic piece around it uh, can hold it in place but I'm not going to take the risk of trying to pull this off and maybe make a mess of it. So I picked up these uh, silicone rubber plugs. They either come in white or black. I could have gotten black so they blend in a little bit better. But I wanted these to be as visible as possible because it's pretty dark in there. I put it on the grill, grill where I wanted to make the hole. And I got a pair of nippers and just cut the little hole out. And this slides in just really, really snug. And by the way, I'm actually going to link these in the description below. And uh, I also drilled some holes in there just so that if it does get really wet in there and a puddle starts to form, there's still a few holes in here for the water to kind of flow out a little bit quicker. I can pull this plug off whenever I want and I can clean the drain holes with a trombone brush. Uh, by trombone brush, I mean one of these things. And you can get these really inexpensively and I've uh, linked this in the description below as well. Other than that, there are gonna be other points where you might have leaks, such as the seals around your glass, around your doors. But the little spots that I just showed you, those are the sources of leaks that can be a bit harder to diagnose, especially the ones when you have blockages in your drain holes behind the seats. You definitely don't want that. <laughs> 